Hello everyone, welcome back to Fulgrim Gaming's Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, if you guys remember when we went to the Coliseum, I was like, oh guys, we've got two things we've got to get. I went in there and how many did I get? One. So that just shows I guess I hadn't had my coffee that day or something. Because I forgot to get the Green Trinity that I left behind. There's a Green Trinity in the Coliseum that I forgot to get. And the funny thing is, literally five seconds before I went to the Coliseum, I mentioned it. So that's... You know, it adds almost like insult to injury, the fact that I knew about it and s talked about it, and I didn't get it. But without further ado, let's get the awesome Green Trinity in the Olympus Coliseum. And it's really not all that great, and it actually doesn't even make sense. Like, where, what do they do here? Where does this mithril come from? If you guys remember in Wonderland, when they stacked up on top of each other, they kind of went... You know, they kind of like rummaged around in that thing up on the wall or whatever it was. That, it just looked like it, they just stacked up for no reason. Now, at this point... We need to go back to Agrabah, but not really go to the world. And this whole thing, this whole situation right here was pretty confusing for me for the first, when the, you know, I played it for the first time. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Alright, so here we are back at Agrabah. We're not, like I said, not going back to it. But if we go back to the select world option, we can actually select a couple of new places. Like this, and... It's kind of like, sometimes it's hard to know, like, what direction to move the control stick to actually go to the right place. And we have this one over here. This is the one we need to go to, and so I'm gonna click on it, but the thing is, sometimes, like, when I was playing it, you know, I guess I was, like, eight, maybe, when this came out, so, I, man, that seems like such a long time ago. I never thought I'd be the kind of guy that said, oh, I feel old, but I guess it happens to everybody, but anyway, back in the day, I was like, well, you know, I've been on this path before, I know there's a warp thing, you know, right there. So I guess what I did every time was just fly straight into that thing. And I was like, well, why? If you basically, if you go in there, you go back to the deep jungle. And that's a problem because we've already finished the deep jungle. I guess I didn't realize you're supposed to fly past the warp zone thing. And the fact that they kept showing the, you know, the warp zone, we've already flown through one. I thought that was like the new thing. We're supposed to just keep flying through warp zones. Apparently not. We're supposed to actually fly by it. And it looked like I got a... What are they called? Blueprints? Or, got a blueprint? Yeah, that's real great. I got a set of blueprints right there, but I didn't catch the name of whatever the ship was. And from what I remember, it's not all that hard to get all of the blueprints of all the enemy ships in the game. And uh, as far as I know, none of them are missable either, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem to actually get all of them. All right, we've actually made it. I wonder what happened to all those gummy pieces that were out floating out there. They just kind of disappeared, and what in the world is that? And Donald kind of agrees with me. What is that? And if you guys saw him, I almost died back there. And the reason I almost died was I, like, reached for my coffee, and I had one controller, or one hand on the controller, almost flew straight into the, you know, the rotating things. Almost died. But anyway, here we have a giant whale. And if you guys remember in the last, in the last episode, I kind of hinted at this. And the first time I ever played the game, I was like, Holy crap. This thing is absolutely gigantic. It seems like every time I'm about to say something, one of the characters in the game actually mentions it. And as Gemini says, this is actually Monstro, but for whatever reason, he's not floating in an ocean or swimming in an ocean. He's actually flying through the gummy space. Like, And by the way, this right here, Sora, get us out of here. Is Donald not flying the gummy ship anymore? Weren't they fighting over that just not too long ago? And here we go, getting swallowed by a huge whale. And I believe there's going to be a pretty cool cutscene coming up, so I hope you guys enjoy.
Hey, Sora! Are you okay? What are you guys doing? Where are we anyway? Whoa! Oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed us. And for today's weather, expect showers. Oh, heavy showers. Hey! Who's there? It's me. Oh, it's just Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Pinocchio? No, where are you going? No! Come on, everybody. After him. Quick! Alright, guys. Here we are in Monstro, which is probably one of the weirder levels, actually, because we are inside of a whale. Not really... I don't think anybody really probably saw that coming the first time they played the game. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Goofy really brought his A game when it came to jokes in that scene. I thought he was pretty funny. And also, how is Pinocchio even here? I'm not sure. Hopefully they explain that. What have you got there, Pinocchio? With this, we can get out of here, Father. Really? With this big block, you think so? It's true. So, how did you end up here, Pinocchio? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness! Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. So, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey. Right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! I don't know if I'm going crazy, but it looked like I saw a glimpse of Riku going inside of that little passageway over there. I hope we'll- well, in a second I'll check- be- in a second I will be checking that out. But let me go ahead and save first, because who knows, Monstro could be, you know, a pretty hard level. And from what I remember, it actually is a little tiny bit frustrating. I don't know why, I just remember it being that way. But first of all, the music in this area- I know I say that in pretty much every area I go into in every game I let's play, but just listen to this. Does that not get you excited to play this level? I don't know if it does for you guys, but for me it definitely does. So let's go ahead and enter Chamber 1. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? What are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kairi? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! Man, that seems kind of a, like a low blow, does it not, on Riku's part? I know he's kind of like working with Maleficent, whether it's against his will or not, I guess that'll remain to be seen. But the fact that we've all, we were kind of in this together, and I, you know, it's obvious we're all worried about Kairi. For Riku to be like, oh, you know, catch me and I'll maybe tell you what I know. And as far as I know, Riku doesn't know anything. And I don't think that's really a spoiler. I think that's just kind of obvious that he just wants Sora to follow him. And by the way, these enemies I'm fighting are actually called... Search ghosts or something like that? Lamp ghosts, light ghosts, I forgot what they're called. I'll check the journal in just a second. But these guys are pretty strong. It seems like they're weak to fire and magic, though. Let me try that. And apparently not. I thought I saw somebody get some tech points when they used some fire magic, so I kind of assumed that they might be weak to fire. Now, let's see. Would that be under characters? I guess so. The Heartless down to... 
Search Ghost, I think that is exactly what I called them the first time. And oh, I just realized by the way, I probably knew this from the past, I just forgot. It actually gives you a number, or however many times you've defeated a certain Heartless. So that, I guess that's pretty cool if you ever wanted to know exactly how many shadows you defeated in the past. But now that I've defeated those for, you know, one round or whatever, I'm probably gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of the fights with these guys, because there's a lot of treasure in this area that I need to get. And just like always, not like it would change mid-game or something like that, you can't open treasure chests if there are enemies on the field. Alright, looks like I took care of them. I believe this is Mega Potion Mega Ether. Mega Ether. Like I said, guys, if there is a treasure chest that you do not know what is in it, Mega Potion Mega Ether and Dalmatians will probably get you 90% of that, you know, that question right. So let me go ahead and speed this up again. Alright, looks like I took care of them again, and by the way, if it seems like I'm going to be speeding up a lot in this episode, it's probably because, and if you guys are long-time viewers, you'll probably know, and you'd have to, I don't think I've talked about this on the channel in a long time, but I am a huge, like, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan or anything, but Fringe is like my show, so... As I'm recording this right now, there's about 20 minutes until it comes on. So I kind of need to get this done. And by the if you guys have never seen Fringe, by the way, I wouldn't say that this is a particularly good time to start the series because it's really, I think procedural is the right word. I'm not really sure about, you know, all that kind of stuff, but it's not really a series you can probably get into like in the middle like this. Actually, it's near the end. This is actually the final season. But if you guys are really interested in finding a good show, I recommend it. Even if you go back and watch every episode, it's probably not necessary. I think I've seen lists online, like, the fringe episodes you need to see to understand the story. Oh man, did I just destroy those barrels? I kind of needed those, so I'm probably gonna... If I leave and come back, I wonder if they'll be there again. I need those to actually jump onto a higher ledge. But yeah, fringe, like, I just... I've been talking about that ever since, like, the Mario 64 days. And that was such a long time ago, I can't believe it was, like... It was almost two years ago. I just... I know I already, you know reminisced about older days in this episode, but it just I, it blows my mind that I've been doing this for two years. But anyway, where's that guy? There he is down there. I wonder if this will go down that far. Apparently not. Alright, looks like that's going to be the last of the enemies here, and why I needed this barrel to be here is because you can actually use it to jump up onto this. I don't know how they expected you to really know that. I guess it's kind of a hidden, you know, Dalmatian over here. I guess it's not that hidden. But it is kind of, you know, a little bit hidden, I would say. I mean, if you don't look upwards, or if you don't happen to look across when you get to the other side, you're probably not going to realize those are there. Well, let's go ahead and take care of these enemies. Alright, now here we need to be careful when we jump, because if we fall down, it's not really that big of a deal. And I probably will fall now that I mention it, but if you fall down, you actually have to run all the way back around to get back up here again. And it, I think this is an elixir or a mega elixir, so it is kind of useful to come get this item. Mega elixir, see, it is actually pretty useful. So let's see if I can actually make the return jump. And where did Goofy go? Looks like he fell. If you guys saw two episodes, I believe it was, two episodes back, that was some of the funniest things I've ever seen in a Kingdom Hearts game. Goofy kept jumping off the, you know, into the pit in whatever level that was, Agrabah, in the, in the Cave of Wonders or whatever. If you guys haven't seen that, I recommend going back and watching, I believe that was episode 16, because that was probably some of the most fun I've had making one of these episodes. By the way, I'd like to take this moment right here, I'm probably sure that's probably going to be kind of abrupt speeding up and stuff like that, but this enemy right here is actually called a Barrel Spider, and it's not too much different from the Pot Centipede as far as I know, but I thought I'd go ahead and point that out because I have been pointing out pretty much every other episode, or every other enemy in the, in the game so far. Alright, looks like that's actually all the enemies, so it wasn't too much longer, but apparently more are going to spawn down here near the treasure chest, and I can't really say I blame them, I wouldn't want to be giving up my treasure after all. I believe this is actually going to be a gummy ship piece. Uh, okay, so uh, let's just add that on to the, 
the list of stuff you'll probably get from a, you know, a treasure chest that you find out of the out of the main pad. Mega Potion, Mega Ether, Dalmatians, and Gummy Ship pieces are probably your safe bets. But there's a whole lot of enemies in this room, guys. So this is definitely one I'm gonna have to speed up. But I, the reason for this is really just because there's a blue trinity on the floor. But it looks like I didn't realize there was those treasure chests here. And I actually have no idea what are in those. Hopefully they have, you know, a Mega Potion, Mega Ether, Dalmatians, or... What was the other one? I already forgot. Whatever it was, I hope it has one of those, or my theory might go down. Wow, that's actually all of them. Let's go ahead and use the Trinity, because I have a feeling they're about to spawn on me again. Usually that happens. Like, I'll do the Trinity, and they'll spawn right after or right as I'm doing it. So, as soon as I come out of the Trinity, they'll be there. It looks like it didn't happen this time. And actually, I might just be telling lies. I know that only happened, like, one time in Wonderland. Mega Ether! It looks like my theory is holding up. Please, be something good here that is actually, you know, related to my theory. If it's a gummy shit piece or anything... I quit. I've, uh, I've officially figured out Kingdom Hearts. My theory of treasure chests has officially been proven. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I need to go catch my episode of Fringe. Season premiere of episode five. Cannot believe it's finally here. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, and I can't wait to see you guys back for the next episode.